Hello friends, welcome to Internet Networks. My name is Edgar C. Francis. In this video, we are going to see the configurations of EIGRP route uh, leak map. But if you are here to know more in detail about the EIGRP leak map and the EIGRP stuff feature and more, please check the link in the description box. Here I have wrote everything about the EIGRP leak map and also many other topics. Now go to the configurations. Our main task is to configure the leak map on this uh, route uh, 3. And with the ex exemption that the network 192.168.30.1 only advertise to all the routers, okay, not these routes 192.168.30.1, uh, 31.1, and 30.1, okay. Uh, to do that, we have to go step by step. First, uh, start with the configurations of the IP addressing. Configure EIGRP 1234 on all the routers, and then we configure EIG stub connect it on the router 3 so starting with configuring the IP address on this router 1 so let's take this router 1 router 1 is having one loopback one uh, serial interface okay okay so interface serial 4 slash 0 the IP address of this interface is 1.1.1.1255.0.0.0 and no shutdown okay now that we have the loopback which is 10.1.1.1 so interface uh, loopback loopback 1 and the IP address is 10.1.1.1 uh, 255.255.255 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 0 ok now let's configure on this router 2 Router 2 is also having the one serial and one loopback. So interface and uh, we have the serial 4 slash 1. And the IP address is uh, 2.2.2.1255.0.0.0 and no shutdown. Exit and we have the loopback. So interface uh, loopback 1 and the IP address of this loopback is 20.1.1.1255.255.255.0. And no shutdown. Okay. Exit. Now, now let's configure the IP address on this router three. Router three is having three serial interfaces. No loopback. No fast Ethernet. Okay. So interface uh, serial four slash uh, zero. The IP address of this interface is one dot one dot two. So one dot one dot two two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. No shutdown. Exit. Another one is serial four slash one. Okay. So interface serial four slash one and the IP address is two dot two dot two dot two two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero and no shutdown. And one more serial interface is three dot. Okay. So the serial is four slash two. So interface serial. 4 slash 2 the IP address is uh, 3.3.1 so 255.0.0.0 and no shutdown ok now let's go to this router 4 router 4 is having one serial interface which is uh, 4 slash 2 and uh, fast, fast ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 2 slash 0 and uh, 2 slash 1 ok so first configure the serial interface which is uh, 4 slash 2 the IP address is uh, 3.3.2255.0.0.0 no shutdown ok now we configure the fast ethernet so let me minimize this ok so interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 the IP address of this interface is 192.168.32.1255.0.0.0 um, no shutdown ok another one is uh, 2 slash 0 which is 192.168.31.1 so interface Fast Ethernet 2 slash 0 
and the IP address is 192.168.31.1.255.255.255.0 no shutdown exit and we have the interface pass ethernet okay 30.1 so so 2 slash 1 and the IP address is 192.168.30.1.255.255.255.0 no shutdown now let's verify do show IP interface brief okay we have the 32 dot network 31 and 30 and the serial interface 4 slash 2 is up now let's see on this these routers okay do show IP interface brief we have the serial 4 slash 0 up 4 slash 1 up 4 slash 2 up okay do show IP interface brief here we have the up and the loopback is also up okay do show IP interface brief okay the C4 slash 0 up okay now our task is to configure the EIGRP 1234 on all the routers so starting with this uh, router 1 so router we have the EIGRP 1234 and we have the network network is 10.1.1.0 .1 okay and we have the network 1.0.0.0 not a summary exit now on router 2 router EIGRP 1234 and we have the network which is 20 dot and 2 dot so 20 dot 1.1.0 and we have the network 2.0.0.0 no auto summary exit now router 3 so router EIGRP 1.2.3.4 and we have the network network is uh, 3.0.0.0 and have the network 1.0.0.0 and have the network 2.0.0.0 no auto summary exit you can see the neighborship is up okay here between router 1 and router 2 uh, router 1 and router 3 and router 2 and router 3 okay okay now let's configure on this router 3 so router EIGRP 1234 and have the network 1 is 192.168.30.0 .0 and the network 192.168.31.0 and the network 192.168.32.0 and the network 3.0.0.0 no auto summary exit can see the neighborship is up okay now let's go to this uh, router one and verify the what's route is installed on this router one routing table okay do show ip route eigrp okay you can see over here we have all the routes 192, 168, 31, 32, 32 and 30 okay now let's see on this router 2 do show IP route okay we have the one dot network over here which is the serial 4 slash 0 and we have the 31, 30 and uh, 10 dot network okay now let's see on this router 3 do show IP route EIGRP ok so all the routes is installed in all these uh, routers ok so now let's configure the EIGRP stub connected on router 3 ok so this is our router 3 so router EIGRP 1234 
okay so eigrp is stub and you will see over here the connected leak map receive only redistributed static summary um, connected so if you write over here the eigrp stub connected so you can see over here do advertise connected routes so it's only advertised it's connected routes so connected okay you can see the neighborship is changed okay new 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 neighborship is up okay now let's see what router 2 router 1 is having in its routing table do show ip route eigrp okay you will not see any of these networks which is 192 160 30 31 and 32 so in order to get this 192 160.30.1 network in this router routers routing table we have to configure the leak, leak map on this router 3 with the exemptions that the network 192 160.30.1 only advertise to all the routers not these routes okay so we are going to configure the leak map on this router 3 so let's take the router and uh, first we have to configure the ACL okay so access list 1 and permit 192.168 okay 32.1 okay so 32.0 and the wildcard mask is 0 0.2 0 0.0.255 okay now we configure the route map so route map name we are using the route route map this is the name we are using okay route map route map okay so match ip address what is the access list number one so one exit now we configure the leak map so router eigrp one two three four and eigrp stub connected leak map you will see leak map allow dynamic prefix based on the leak map okay so leak map and the leak map name the name is uh, route map okay so route map okay you can see the neighborship is changed okay exit now let's see on this router 1 and router 2 the 192 168 30.1 is installed in or not okay so let's go to this router one previously we don't have this 192 168 30.32.1 network now let's see you can see now we have the 192 168 30.1 network in its routing table let's now let's see on the router two the 192.160.32.1 network install or not so do show do show ip route eigrp you can see router 2 is also installed this route 192.168.30.0 because we configure the exemption that the network 192.168.30.1 uh, only advertise to all the routers so this is how you can configure the leak map if you want to know more in detail there's a link in the description box you can visit it out thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much so there you can see the AIGRP stub and connected and the leak map and the leak map name is uh, route map okay so i hope you like this video if you like please give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much